everyone, welcome to our second episode of The Master Outfitter and this is all about taking your themes and making the best of the best outfits out of it. Today's theme is Gladiator. Pretty cool theme today. I've got some cool costumes for you and I hope you enjoy. I'm not going to mess you about by wasting your time. Just jump in, enjoy the video and I hope that you'll enjoy the free costumes we've got for you today. And if you want to give us a theme for next time, please, by all means. Put it in the description and we will roll it out, but plenty of other content to come. Enjoy the video. So our first outfit is going to be the first of our gladiators. And this is sort of styled on your original sword and shield based gladiator. Um, a quick disclaimer, this came from one of my subs, sort of the initial layout of that. And we've kind of adjusted it to look its best. I'm so sorry, whoever that was. I actually honestly forgot who gave me this one, but it's a really cool looking outfit here. A sort of mixture of brown and gold to create this full on gladiator appearance. Uh, based on sort of the Roman styling and this one obviously would need the sword and shield to look its best But in the end the styles are really really simple. So let's quickly go to the style station Just giving you a little tour of that one Our first bit is going to be a heavy order of the hour helmet now This is going to be dyed with two colors throughout so these colors are not going to be any different Elsewhere of course you can adjust that if you like, but we have gone with the motive master brown To find that by rarity it's going to be in rare it's going to be the sixth on the third row or in hue you can go down to the very very last in the hue and then our second die is going to be akatosh scales gold now this is going to be found at the very very start i believe somewhere at the very end of the first row there you go and then on rarity it's also going to be in rare and it's going to be the fourth from the end like so so those dies are going to be used throughout here our sh uh, shoulders are then going to be heavy minotaur so this is very much the look of traditional gladiator here. And that is exactly how this sort of shoulders would look. Almost identical. I guess that's where they got that one from. The gloves are then going to be imperial too. Now the shoulders are all yellow because there's only one die. But the gloves are yellow, brown and brown to create that sort of nice gold to brown contrast. The legs are then going to be Mazden breeches. Now there's a really weird effect with this when you stand still. As you can see when I'm character like the body and the legs clip. But it actually creates quite a cool effect when you're stood there. So even though it looks buggy as hell right now, it actually looks really nice. Um, and this is going to be with brown and gold. Our body then is going to be a light Minotaur jerkin. And that is going to be brown, gold, and then brown. So the gold is going to affect the tassel that you see. And then the sort of side shoulder as well. Those are going to become gold should you choose to take that die section. Honestly, when it comes down to the belt, it really doesn't matter that much. I've gone for gold, brown, gold. But I mean, truly, you just want to keep the belt simple. A lot of the belts are pretty buggy on this one. They don't stand out very well. So I've gone for Dreadhorn Light. I think that's the one that best stands out. And it's up to you, of course, how you dye that. You might go for sort of a silver next to this. But I just kept it in theme with the gold, brown, gold. The foot boots, finally, are going to be Imperial 1 Light Shoes. And these are going to be brown, gold, brown. Though note that that gold literally just adds a tiny bit of shading to the back of the leg. It's almost invisible. Uh, the gold anywhere else is a bit too bright, so I went for the brown just to keep it nice and uh, clean, I guess. Finally, the sword and the shield. The shield that you can see right now in the back, that is going to be brown, gold, gold. And this is the Akatheri Shield 3, so that motif is got from PvP, should you wish to get that one. Shouldn't be too expensive. Um, this one looks really great. I didn't really like the other ones too much here. The other one that can look pretty good is Order of the Hour, and I'll probably end up using that in one of my other Gladiator looks, but we'll see. And then the sword is the Imperial Four Sword. That's going to be gold, brown, brown. Let me quickly show you that. And that is how the sword will look on screen now. So that's our first outfit. I won't bother naming them unless they're really, really specific. But that'll be our first of the Gladiator looks. Again, I hope this stuff is interesting for you guys. And some of you guys will get to use this. So our second costume for the Gladiators is going to be a little different. We're going to base this one around the Argonian style. Now, this outfit originally is pretty similar and comes from Misfit, one of my moderators in Twitch and YouTube. And this is a really, really fun one just to give the Argonian a bit of a different feel because there's so much you can do with this outfit system that we gave it a shot. So, quick tour around the body. You will notice I'm also using a skin on this one. The skin really helps this look. The other way you can make this look great is just by having a really dark skin color on your Argonian in the first place. So if you do have this, uh, if you don't have the skin, sorry, you just want to make sure your Argonian is pretty dark and then it will look great. So just to go over the stuff again, nice and quickly, we are currently using two dyes and those dyes are going to be the Fire Drake's Red, which is for the Pit Hero achievement. 
if you don't have that, adjust it as you like. But I really like that bright red. I think it's well worth getting for this one. But it does come down to your preference. And then my white is going to be Julianus white, which is for the Ethereum archive. But again, just go for the brightest white. So just to show you where these are again, Fiedric red is the second last red in terms of hue. And then Julianus white is the first white in terms of hue. Our shoulders are going to be Mazatin heavy. And those are going to give us this very, very weird shape on the shoulders that just kind of gives it a full Argonian feel, despite not really being the Argonian style. The gloves, to keep this nice and simple so it doesn't disrupt the sort of main parts, we went for Imperial Gloves 3, which is light. Our legs are going to be Argonian Guards 1. Now, the reason you want to go for these is that they contrast under the skirt of the body. So that way you don't actually see the legs and you get this sort of skirt feel, which I think is quite cool. Um, yeah, credit to list for finding that one. The body, though, is going to be Mazatum Rope. And that is how we're going to get that sort of skirt and the upper chain, which gives it that general Argonian-ish feel. And then the belt is Dwarven Sash, which actually looks, to be honest, a bit more Mazatin than Dwarven. So it looks great in that. Our boots are going to be Soul Shriven Shoes and the colours you can see as clearly. So white, red, white for the shoulders, red, white, red gloves, red, white legs, no sec uh, no third colour. Mazatin's going to be red, red, white. The belt is going to be white, red, red, and the boots are just going to be red. And lastly, our sword and shield. The shield is going to be a full red in the middle and then white on the left and right. You can also alternatively run this in a white style by going white, red, white. Uh, sorry, red, white, red like that, should you prefer that look. The mace is completely different here. We're going to be going for the Thieves Guild mace. The shield, by the way, is Mazden, if that wasn't obvious enough. Um, we're going for the Thieves Guild mace because I feel it gives that sort of kind of tribal feel to it. And that is going to be looking as follows. Nice simple style on there. And the style, uh, so the colours of that are going to be red, white and red. So our final outfit for the Gladiator collection is going to be based on your sort of harpoon and net type Gladiator. I'm trying to remember what the name of these were. Something like Percy's or something? I'm sure it began with PE. I don't know. Whatever it is. Anyway, this is the sort of general look for them. So we looked this up online, try to get as close as we possibly could. They basically built themselves up with a very, very sort of heavy torso, but kept the rest of their body light to run a net and spear, which is their kind of traditional way of fighting. For those who don't know, by the way, I was a huge fan of like Roman history. I studied a lot of it when I was at my uh, secondary school and sixth form. I really enjoyed that stuff. It wasn't even related to any of the topics I did. I just found it really interesting. So... That's why I spent a bit longer on this collection maybe than the other ones. Just trying to make them as resembling as possible. Obviously, it's up to you whether you use these or not. I just thought I'd share them since I can, basically. Uh, but yeah, this is the sort of general look that you're going for. You're welcome to look these up online and it should be relatively similar. Maybe the colours are wrong. I don't know. I went for the colours that look best for me. So that's the general look of him, obviously. And then let's go show you what we've made him for. So... In total, we are using firstly a Daedric Helm. Now, the Daedric Helm is going to be in heavy. And this is going to be a mixture of three different colours throughout this outfit. So our first colour is going to be Colossus Brass. And our second colour is going to be Julianus White. And for the helmet, it's exactly that order. The third colour we're going to be using is Legates Black once again. Though, of course, you could use Cold Harbor Ash if that is the only black you have. Since Legate is quite hard to get. The shoulders then are going to be Imperial Pauldrons 4. And these are, again, heavy, of course. And that is going to be gold, white, and then black. And then our gloves are going to be the Worm Colt Heavy. These, obviously, are a little harder to get, but it's not that important that you have them. They just have the very, very nice sort of shoulder lining that you can see there. Not shoulder, what am I talking about? Elbow lining, that's what I meant to say. Uh, that just keeps the body looking a little bit less clustered. So it comes down to you. You could obviously run any other glove there. But if you do have worm, I think it looks best for this general look. And that is going to be with gold and black. The legs then are going to be Mazatin guards. And that is going to be just the black because there's only one color available. But they get that really cool sort of skirt feel and opens up the torso, like I said, in that traditional style of the gladiators. The body to go exactly with that is going to be the Mazatin jerkin, not the Mazatin rope, because this will basically sink into the shoulders and the trouser line to make it almost invisible. And that's going to be gold, black, and then white to get this gold lining around the skirt. And then the black just underneath the shoulders, but keeping the torso free. The belt is going to be Nord Belt 1. I wanted something nice and simple here. This basically spent some time having a look because I'm not very good with this system and found this bad boy, which is nice and simple, has a cool little effect and I think suits it perfectly. 
even got a Roman sort of symbol on there. So perfect, really. And that has Colossus brass as the colour. And last but not least, it's going to be soul driven shoes. This sort of character generally would wear very, very little on the feet. So lo and behold, that's what we've done. Soul driven's the smallest. And we've gone for gold there to keep it in theme with the rest of the colours. Last but not least, it's going to be the weapon. This is where we get a bit creative. This is actually a staff. This is a holojack staff. But it looks exactly like Poseidon's spear. So this is going to give us gold. No colour in the centre. And then white. To finish our character off, just to show you what that weapon looks like. Again, nice and close. Of course, there's no shield to look at here. That's the general feel for the weapon itself. You could also run black on the handle, should you prefer. But I like the white. I think generally gold on white is a nice little structure for this. Especially to contrast the skin colour. 